Hey YouTube, what's going on? Today, it's actually going to be a photo adventure. Yes, we're going to head out to Sunset Crater National Monument, which is a old volcano. There's a lot of cool lava fields and stuff out there, and there's snow on the ground, so it should be quite interesting. And to make it even more interesting, I'm going to be shooting pinhole photography. Now, surprisingly, I've never shot pinhole photography before, but I've had a few DIY pinholes that I've bought on eBay for a while now, and I've just, well, I guess honestly I've been too afraid to try using them. You know, it takes patience and uh, even a little math if you want to do pinhole photography properly. But that's my goal today, to do some pinhole photography and do some regular photography and compare the two images afterwards. I also have a few other interesting things which is a, a zone sieve and a zone plate, which are like pinholes but actually have a slightly bigger aperture. Now, I could talk about the theory and stuff about this all day, and I'll probably go into that on another episode. But for now, let's just go have some fun in the snow and shoot some pictures. I ordered this skink pinhole kit which includes a pinhole and some other types of pinhole related lenses and I've actually never shot them so I thought this weekend we would do a little exploration and go out and see what these look like I have a pinhole I have what's called a zone sieve and a zone plate which are all pinhole like optics now later today we'll go ahead and talk about how these all work but while we still have good daylight, I'm going to go out and take some photos. I'm probably going to go to Sunset Crater National Monument. Oh, and for the camera, I have the horseman that we talked about last weekend. But I've managed, if I can get this open with one hand, and the answer to that was no. But anyways, I managed to hack on the pinhole onto this old shutter that I wasn't using from another large format camera. Now usually with pinhole you might think of doing something like taking a lens cap and timing it like this and then stopping your exposure. Unfortunately though a zone plate and a zone sieve actually have a much larger aperture than a pinhole. As you can see here, these are um, F57 and F67. So outdoors, that leads to an exposure of about a quarter of a second with the film I'm using. So I need a shutter to time that. I can't move my hand away and put it back fast enough. But anyways, uh, I'll go pack up and we'll drive out to Sunset Crater National Monument and we'll test out these three pinhole optics and see how they perform. Alright, here's our first view. So Sunset Crater Volcano is actually a relatively recent eruption, maybe only a few thousand years. The benefit of that is uh, the rocks are still all crotchy, so it's uh, quite steep. Alright, um, go ahead and try each of the three, the zone on the shot. And there you go. And if you look the other way from the volcano, you get the San Francisco Peaks, which is also very pretty. And I just got a pinhole photo of it. Okay, site number one. And you can see over here, look at that lava field. I'm going to go down there and check it out. Let's go. Now, 
much of a trail when it's all covered in snow and you don't know where to go. Okay, I'm going to take a photo over that way because it's a pretty gnarly looking tree. There's all these scary cracks and stuff everywhere. Don't want to go down there, that's for sure. It's a pretty alien landscape. Uh, with the white snow, though, and the black rocks, I don't know how much exposure range I'm going to be able to get in here. But I've got to try. Oh, look, here's a bigger opening over here. Look at that. Surprise there's still uh, some trees growing out here. Did they get enough nutrients out of this rock? Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna put the pinhole set to 90 millimeter focal length, but I also have the 90 millimeter lens designed for this camera. So now I'll compare a good lens versus the pinhole. Now I've walked up to this rock wall. That's really impressive. You can see the layers. You can see there's the, like the chunky ash up top and then just the solid lava underneath. That's quite impressive. I'm never going to stop being impressed by this. It's just so alien. In fact, ironically, it is pretty alien. Because actually, uh, to practice for the moon missions, Apollo astronauts actually trained here. Uh, this this volcanic lumpy like rock turned out to be quite similar to what was on the moon simply because this hasn't had a lot of time to erode on the moon there's no atmosphere and here this is fairly new rock only a few thousand years old so it sticks together in a different way it it makes much steeper hills and things than earth dirt does. So they thought it'd be a good place to train the astronauts. Pretty interesting. Now just for fun this time, super wide pinhole. I know I'm gonna get this in the shot, but hopefully that's cool. Find out. All right, now I'm climbing up this crater to get a view of that crater better. And uh, I'll resume at the top where I'll surely be out of breath because it is uh, over 7,000 feet here. And this is over a 300 foot climb. So see you there. I was right about being out of breath. But look, look at this view. That's amazing. All right, I just made it to the top as shown by these interpretive signs that they managed to lug up here. But I'm just amazed at the view. I was hoping the view over that way where the Sunset Crater is would be spectacular. But no, look at that. That's the San Francisco peaks. And they look beautiful right now. Uh, the ski resort is on the other side. That's where it gets the most snow. So there's just a little bit of patchy snow over here. But still, quite beautiful. And the city of Flagstaff is over there behind that mountain. You can see the radio towers on the top. Probably you can't, but I can see the radio towers on the top of the Mount Eldon over there. Really impressive. I'm going to get another shot up here with the pinhole, the zone sieve, and the zone plate, and we'll compare those when I get back home. On another trail now, uh, right at the foot of the volcano. Uh, you can see the volcano right there. Or at least what used to be a volcano. Semantics and all that. And I'm walking down onto this lava field. Check it out. didn't feel like carrying everything so I have the zone sieve installed and I'm just gonna try to do some off-the-cuff shots down here on this very scary rusted bridge
I don't know if you can tell, but there's some uh, bad weather rolling in. It's gotten really cold. Um, I think it might snow again, even though uh, the weather forecast didn't predict it. So I think I'm going to finish this roll, got one or two more pictures, and then call it a day. Uh, the good news is I have a yearly pass to the national parks, so it's not like I have to see everything today. I'll come back some other time and get the rest. Hopefully with the sun out, because I think some of this would look really good in color as well. Sure you're thinking, how is that? It's just black rocks and some snow. Well, in some places there's actually some colorful algae and stuff and lichen on the rocks. So I'll have to check that out. Oh, also there's Indian ruins. So it should be quite pretty. But I'll sign off for now. Go home and develop this. And I guess I'll resume this investigation of Pinhole once I get my photos developed so we can see how they turned out. Thanks for watching.